Hello and welcome back to the Road to KSP. Today we're starting off back with our uh, good old uh, Mercury mission. Not Mercury. Yeah, Mercury. Uh, anyway, it's coming in at a pretty, pretty fast pace. And uh, we actually have to do some things to help alleviate the Delta V problem. Now, there is a definite thing that's some sort of visual glitch that's going on. Uh, don't know what's causing that. Actually, I did figure it out eventually. It was the whole, you know, um, where for some reason I was controlling the vessel from each of the lower stages. I don't know what exactly caused that, but something caused that, and it it's doing it now. Anyway, so what I decided to do is that we're going to make multiple passes going very slow this planet, and uh, or going very slow around Moho, uh, and hopefully that'll help with the Delta V margin. Either way, we, we will eventually get it correctly. For some reason, I just have the hardest time getting to Moho. I mean, I've launched things to other stars. Granted, they're going to take forever to get to those other stars, but like I've launched things towards other stars. I, I, I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. It, it, I, I just need to, I think I just need to build like a nuclear rocket that has a nuclear rocket second stage and a nuclear rocket third stage and a nuclear rocket fourth stage. But I mean, that's probably what it's going to be. Um, also, sorry, this video is kind of lower quality than the normal videos. That's because I'm just very quickly rushing this out because I'm actually preserving most of the stuff for the next group. Anyway, this is, uh, I believe, the abort test one for our new rocket. Uh, anyway, we're going to have a new rocket that's uh, it's on a CDSM-5. It will launch to our space station. It has more than enough. Uh, anyway, it is a... It's just, I think we're going to call the capsule uh, just really anything. I think... You know what? I'm going to actually just pause the recording here, and I'm going to find something to name it. Okay, so basically, because, you know, SpaceX has their Dragon capsule, I decided to name this as the Baki Kersia. Probably pronouncing that wrong. It's a Japanese ghost whale. Um, why? Because it was the first thing that showed up on Wikipedia. That That's basically the reason why. Uh, anyway, here's our first stage of the CDSM-5 coming in for a landing. Uh, unfortunately, we lost a couple of engines on the uh, coming, but that's okay. We have more than enough thrust-to-weight ratio. Uh, but we end up coming in on the side of a cliff, and the computer freaks out. Yep. Anyway, here's the second stage. It's going to head all the way to the station, and it will dock with the station uh, with our Kerbals, uh, Leonid, Rofeld, and Valentina. I think that's Rofel, Rofel, Rofel. Anyway, it's flying all all the way there, it just did its uh, uh, maneuver burn. It just raised its uh, apple apps up to the appropriate height. And now it is going to... Now it's matching its velocities near the space station. Where it will now soon aim itself directly at the station itself. We're about a thousand meters away. And here we are coming in quite quickly. Because I'm using... Time warp. And there we are. There is our station in all of its glory. And now we will get a little bit closer and dock to the station itself. Yeah, and I'm just going to use the loud, lazy method of docking because that is literally the easiest method for docking for not, well, for pretty rigid structures. Uh, as soon as you start to get, like, massive space stations, it, it starts to not work very well. Anyway, speaking of massive space stations, we're, we're launching 
a new section of the space station that will make it much larger and a little bit less rigid. Uh, as you can see, it's also being launched on CDSM-5 um, with two dead Kerbals on board. Um, don't mind that. That will be fixed. <laughs> I don't know how they came back from the dead. I have like the respawn thing for Kerbals off. I don't exactly know what happened there, but I'll fix that by tomorrow episode. This wasn't even supposed to launch with Kerbals on board, so I, I, I don't exactly know what to do about that. It, like, kind of glitched out. I, I, I really don't know what happened there. Anyway, we are pushing this section all the way up to the space station. And there it goes, off to encounter the space station. And we will make our uh, our burn that will uh, keep us in the... Well, that'll basically just bring us up to speed with the space station. Because we're traveling significantly slower at this altitude. There we are. Now we're not too far away, so I just decided to detach this part of the station and line it up with the docking port that we will have it go up against, or dock to, and we will uh, bring it in at a pretty quick speed for, you know, a docking maneuver, but that's fine. Th so this portion, uh, it's specifically going to be used, those two docking things to the side are where I'm going to put large trusses for specifically electric power generation through solar panels because we're close enough to the sun to use things like solar panels so we don't have to go up occasionally and refuel the station with nuclear fuel we can just use solar panels which should just work indefinitely because it's Kerbal Space Program and uh, solar cells do not uh, slowly lose effectiveness over time. Anyway, I uh, just got finished with that, and that'll be the end of today's episode. Uh, and yeah, I know it was only about four or five minutes long, but I will put in some padding just so it reaches the lo the appropriate amount of time. Uh, I don't know exactly what to put here. It's probably just going to be like a video of like the cat that plays with the bongos. I think I think I'll just do that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's been it. And uh, thank you guys for 500 subs. And you'll be getting your one hour long video on Wednesday. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy that. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.